All right, so here's a preview of the Google Doc that I'm using to figure out how many mosses there are in the hobby and also how to care for them and such. So far, I've just, like you can see from the title, aquarium mosses in alphabetical order based on how they most commonly show up in the hobby. And one thing that I was trying to do is figure out different ways to do this, and I settled on this one. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to do it by scientific name if I wanted to do it by common name and I'm just like you know just do it how they most commonly show up in the hobby so you can see that this is a good bit of moss I have nine and then I have a legend there's L which is named for its look P which is named for the place of origin and the references which I haven't even really gotten much done but then I also have something from a reply on the on my thread on aquarium advice I this is something that I got a list of mosses I got on there and a few others that I found but this is the thing that I was really surprised at I found a book on at my ASU library and it said Index of Mosses. That was the title of it. It's from like 19 something way back when. But I saw this and I'm like, Limnophilus. Okay. I think it's freshwater because, you know, Limno is lakes and streams and stuff. Lim limnology is the study of lakes and freshwater systems. Then real Phyllis, and I didn't really know anything about that. But then I found out having an affinity for lakes and this. Renal, real Phyllis means having an affinity for flowing water. So basically, these mosses in this list can be kept in aquaria with low flow across the moss, and they do perfectly fine because lakes don't have a whole lot of flow. They may have currents every now and again, but they don't have a whole lot of flow. Whereas these should be kept in aquaria with medium to high flow across the moss because they're in flowing water that's flowing like all the time. So. Just a preview, a little sneak peek of this. There are some, like this first genus, that's in both. What I think that means is just different species within this genus will be more of the low flow to no flow or medium flow to high flow. And there's quite a bit in here. These are just random stuff that I had in here. It doesn't have anything to do with the satchel list need to get that out of there but you can see that these are actually not mosses these are the liverworts which as you can see from up here once I scroll up you can see technically liverworts and it's a different type of plant it's, a, it's related to moss but it serves a different purpose as moss I know I put that on here somewhere. It's weird looking at a screen through another screen. It's really weird. Yeah, see, it doesn't serve the same purpose as the true moss, but I don't know exactly remember what that was. But I would like to show you a preview of next week's video. What I plan to do there. So Forgive the black screen, really don't feel like walking through the house showing you every single little detail. My parents would not approve of that. Oh shoot, totally forgot about the light being off and it being totally dark in here, so it'll take a little while for me to find the light, not too terribly long. I'm used to this, don't worry, I'm a professional. <laughs> if I don't kill myself in the process. Um, kids, do not try this at home. As some of you may recall, there used to be an aquarium here in my last video. Well, there it is right there. Moved the sand down to there, made that structure that way instead of that way. That's a 40 gallon breeder. I'll tell you what I plan to do with that next week. Hopefully it'll focus. 
please. And now it's going totally trippy. Wonderful. But yeah, this is just some of the stuff I had in there. And of course, that's a 2x4s. But this is the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed. And don't forget to click the link in the description to go see the actual thread. Thank you.